Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. We're going to begin with damning impeachment testimony today from a key witness. Army Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman, the National Security Council's top expert on Ukraine, is the first official to testify about what he directly heard during the controversial phone call that sparked the impeachment inquiry. Vindman says that what he heard concerned him and he alerted a top White House lawyer. Vindman joins other diplomats and former administration officials in confirming the details of the whistleblower's complaint. He did say he is not the mysterious whistleblower. One Democrat is calling today's testimony the nail in the coffin. Nancy Cordes leads off our coverage tonight on Capitol Hill. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman arrived in full military uniform and accused his commander-in-chief of undermining national security. He told congressional investigators that he did not think it was proper for the president to demand by phone that the Ukrainians investigate his campaign rival, Joe Biden. Today, uh, Colonel Vindman made a very strong case that what the president did happened and was very, very wrong. Vindman is a Harvard-educated Iraq war veteran who now oversees Ukraine policy at the White House. I realized, he said, that if Ukraine pursued an investigation into the Bidens, it would likely be interpreted as a partisan play, which would undoubtedly result in Ukraine losing the bipartisan support it has thus far maintained. I think his commitment to this country, but he is wrong in this. Republicans dismissed the damning testimony. The, the fundamental facts have, have never changed. We can read the call. We know what President Trump and President Zelensky have said. So you think he was wrong to be concerned? No, I, 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 I'll tell you what troubles me. What troubles me is the fact that these, these proceedings are being done in secret. We, we wish you came, came from Kiev. Vindman emigrated from Ukraine, then part of the Soviet Union, when he was three. The president slammed him today as a never-Trumper witness. Some defenders went further, questioning Vindman's allegiances. Some people might call that espionage. It seems very clear that he is incredibly concerned about Ukrainian defense. I don't know that he's concerned about American policy. Vindman is a Purple Heart recipient who has served in the U.S. military for 20 years. Basically, yeah, the Republicans got nothing. That's why what they're doing is pathetic. Republican nation, leaders quickly clamped down. Country. We're talking about decorated veterans who have served this nation, who have put their lives on the line, and it is shameful to question their patriotism. And Nancy joins us from Capitol Hill. So today the Democrats released a roadmap for the public phase of this impeachment process. What happens next? Well, this resolution, Nora, gives the president some rights in the process, but those rights are somewhat undefined. For instance, his lawyers would have the opportunity to cross-examine witnesses, but that right could get taken away if the president doesn't start cooperating. Tonight, the White House is responding to all this by calling the impeachment process an illegitimate sham. All right, Nancy. Big day on the Hill today. Thank you.